Hi, my name is Jennifer Stetler and today's presentation is Drug Addiction, Disease or Choice? Crackhead, Junkie, Fiend. These are all negative connotations that are associated with the nasty disease of addiction. As reported by CASA, 40 million people are affected by the disease of addiction. 27 million who have heart conditions, 26 million who have diabetes, and 19 who have cancer. Someone who is very close and dear to my heart has struggled with addiction for the past few years. It's definitely not something he is proud of, nor is it something that he is ashamed of, because it has shaped the person that he is today. Today, I will talk about what addiction is, give an overview of the choice theory, and also go over my view of addiction, which is the medical or disease model. So, what is addiction? Addiction is a brain disease expressed in the form of a compulsive behavior, and it occurs in two stages. In the first stage of addiction, a person tries a drug, and it soon becomes chronic and uncontrolled. In the second stage of addiction, withdrawal symptoms occur in the early stages of abstinence, which can cause a vulnerability to relapse. Unfortunately, drug addiction can change the way that your brain functions, and therefore causes many behavioral consequences. In fact, research shows that long-term drug use results in changes in the brain that persist long after the person has even quit doing drugs. Addiction actually has a biological component, which explains difficulty in the drug abuser's ability to achieve and maintain abstinence without treatment. According to the National Institute of Drug Abuse, there are also psychological stresses from work, family, psych psychological illnesses, and medical problems. Kevin McCauley says, everyone handles stress differently from one another, and when the brain doesn't resolve your stress, the midbrain interprets it as a threat to survival. Therefore, people under severe stress increase their risk-taking behavior in the search for relief. Although it may seem clear to some people that addiction is a brain disease, there's also another view. According to the choice theorists, addiction is merely an option. It is a choice an individual makes, just like any other choice an individual makes on a daily basis. To them, the word addiction is an excuse to dismiss personal responsibility. Dale Netherton argues, this illegitimate use of the word addiction leads to a myriad of behaviors that require sympathizers claiming to offer support and counseling to these hapless souls that need reinforcement of their mistaken notions. Not only is addiction seen as excuse, but Jeffrey Schaller thinks it is a willful dedication or commitment and a matter of personal choice. According to Schaller, everything that has to deal with drug addiction is a joke. He even goes as far as saying, research indicates that drug treatment is completely ineffective and an absolute waste of time and money. Lastly, one of the big reasons that there are skeptics of the disease model is regarding brain scans. According to Duego, many doubters don't believe that substance abuse disorders can be accurately depicted on brain scans because they are obtained in an unnatural environment. It all boils down to their opinions that scans are not scientifically precise enough to generalize a disease. As you can see, there are several challenges to the medical model of addiction and I've only made a dent in the list. Now I'd like to talk about my view of addiction of drug abuse. It is my belief that addiction is a brain disease. As said, said by Alan Leshner, no one chooses to become an addict. We don't just wake up one day and say, hey, today I'm going to become a drug addict. That's just not reality at all. 
Although I believe addiction is a brain disease, it's hard to throw out the choice theory altogether. It's important for me to point out the fact that the initial decision to try a drug is a choice. As Dale Netherton explains, and I agree with him, it is the repeated behavior that latches on to the addiction label. The disease theorists believe that addiction isn't a word that is used to excuse anyone's behavior. In fact, they consider a drug addiction the same as any other disease, such as cardiovascular disease or diabetes. Nevertheless, for every theory, there will be a skeptic. Due to the fact that the cause of substance abuse disorders has not been proven, there is a sense of disbelief. My thought is that most non-addicts don't understand what it's like to be an addict, obviously. An addict may choose to try a drug, but unless you've been through it, one can't fathom why drug use goes beyond the initial occurrence. You might be asking yourself, so what do I do if one of my loved ones becomes addicted to drugs and or alcohol? Well, let me tell you about rehabilitation. Jeffrey Schaller may have stated that drug treatment is completely ineffective and an absolute waste of time and money. But in reality, it is in fact one of the key aspects to get oneself back to a normal lifestyle. Behavioral treatment programs are especially vital, and according to Dueco, there are various types of treatment programs out there. There's cognitive behavioral therapy, there's motivational interviewing, there's 12-step facilitation, there's faith-based treatment, and there is motivation enhancement therapy. According to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, the majority of people who get into and remain in treatment stop using drugs, decrease their criminal activity, and improve their occupational, social, and psychological functioning. They do want to make it clear, though, that relapse is not only possible, but it is likely, just as any other patient in rehabilitation from any other disease. Relapse definitely does not mean failure, so they recommend patients to remain in treatment because it is an essential component for good outcomes and can benefit even the most severely addicted individuals. So you see, Addiction is a brain disease expressed in the form of a compulsive behavior. Those who seek help and stay in treatment will most likely succeed in life of abstinence, although relapse can occur. Remember, relapse does not mean failure. It simply means that treatment needs to be adjusted. Finally, drug addiction is just like any other physical malady, such as heart disease, diabetes, or cancer, and should be treated that way. It is my wish that people would stop judging those who are in need of help. You never know if and when this deadly disease known as, known as addiction will affect someone close to you. Thank you.